All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to be talking today about the equation of a circle, and this is something we touched on earlier in the year, but we're coming back to it because of its importance in the Algebra 2 class, and we're going to um, be talking about this over the next week or so. This will actually be our last topic to finish up the year. Um, so with a circle, we start with just the general equation of a circle. And when we talk about the equation of a circle, there's actually two different types of equations of a circle that we want to talk about. So the first is what's known as center radius form. And then the other type is going to be standard form. Okay, so for center radius form, the equation is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. And we'll talk about what that means in a second. And then for standard form, we actually have ax squared plus by squared plus cx plus dy plus e equals 0. Okay, and so what happens here is we're going to leave standard form for a minute, and we probably won't even get to standard form in this lesson today. I really just want to focus on center radius form. So the idea with a circle, okay, if we draw a circle, is there is a center. That center has coordinates h comma k. So we're living in the Cartesian plane, x comma y, there's a point, that point in the center has coordinates h, k. That's where you're going to replace the h. That's where you're going to replace the k. The radius, which is our variable r, the radius is the distance from the center to the edge. So whatever that distance is there, that's going to be our r. Okay, so let's see what a question might look like. So here's a question that you might see. Determine the equation of a circle. Okay, so the first thing we need to do here as we look at this equation is we need to say, okay, what is our h coordinate? So we're going to start with x minus. Now we start with minus, but we may go to plus. The x coordinate of the center is 6. Okay, so because it's a positive 6, we're just going to have x minus 6. <clears throat> and then that'll be squared. To that, we're going to add, okay, because that's where our equation comes from. We're going to have y minus, and then k. k is the y value of our center. So if you count up how many boxes, the center of that circle there is 7. And so we're going to put a 7 in. Okay, we don't want to forget our squared. And that's going to be equal to the radius squared. So if you look here from the center to the edge, we can count horizontally uh, that there are two boxes. So we want two squared, so we're gonna say is equal to four. Okay, and that's gonna be our correct answer. So we find the center, we find the radius, we plug in, we get our answer. Okay, and that's, that's it. Okay, if I generate a new problem, it's just a matter of um, I'm just going to show the solution here. It's just a matter of finding the center and finding the radius. I find the center to be 0, 5. I find the radius to be 3. Okay. So now let's talk about how to do this with the distance formula. So with the distance formula, these questions are also going to show up on your assignment. These are a little bit different. So here we're going to give you the center and we're going to give you a point. Okay, so let's see how this works. So the center, so for our example here, we're going to be given the center, okay, and the coordinates of our center are negative 6, negative 4. And then we're going to be given just a random point. So this is a little bit different. So our point here is negative 4, negative 1. Okay, so let's not forget that our center has coordinates h comma k. Our point is just a, an x and a y. So for the equation of a circle, we have x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. So we have the center, so we can say x, it'll be plus 6 because it'll be minus a negative 6. 
squared, and then it'll be y minus minus, it'll be plus four, right? So if it helps with circles, you just change the sign. If that's how you wanna think about it, you can think about it like that. And that's equal to r squared. Now, unfortunately, if we go back to our picture here, we see that it's not so easy to just count the boxes going you know, from the center to the right for the radius because the, the circle doesn't end on a perfect grid point. And that's where we have to use what's known as the quote unquote distance formula to find the center. Now we're not actually using the distance formula here. The distance formula, if you might remember, is the square root of x1 minus x2 squared plus y1 minus y2 squared. We talked about that earlier in the year. We're using a derivation of the distance formula because that's all a circle really is. A circle is really just the distance from of any point uh, to the center uh, of a circle, okay? Um, and we're not going to get into some of the details there, but there is some details with uh, uh, something called a locus, where a locus is a collection of points equally distant from a point, meaning of equal distance. And so that's really what a circle is. It's all the points the same distance away from that center point. But I digress. Let's get into what we're looking at here. So for that point, we have an x and a y. So we're temporarily going to plug in negative 4 and negative 1 for x and y. So it'll be negative 4 plus 6 squared, and it'll be negative 1 plus 4 squared is equal to r squared. So we're going to simplify. So this will be 2 squared. This will be 3 squared. So 4 plus 9 is equal to r squared. So we get 13 is equal to r squared. We now go back to this step here. So we're going to get x plus 6 squared plus y plus 4 squared, and that is equal to 13. So we can now substitute in for the r squared with a 13 that we found. Okay, so let's go plug in our answer. x uh, plus 6 squared plus parenthesis y plus 4 squared equals 13. And you want to be careful there. You're not squaring 13. It's almost, um, you know, a couple different things that you're doing here. So one is um, you could kind of look at this as like we're doing the Pythagorean theorem. If that's one way you want to look at it, you can find the distance that way. Um, that works too. So what we want to do here is we want to look at this in a way where we could say, oh, that works, that doesn't work, and, and kind of go from there. All right? Um, that's it for this video. That kind of shows you a breakdown of using the center and the radius. Uh, the next video will talk about standard form. Okay? All right. Have a great day, and I will see you on the next